Hello, everyone! The depths of the ocean are one of the most understudied areas in the world. Unfortunately, even in the 21st century, we have not been able to study the seabed in detail. It is located, by the way, thousands of meters below the surface of the water. However, this is where the most interesting and terrifying creatures on the planet live. In today's video, we're going to talk about the most amazing living creatures in the depths of the sea. Tell us in the comments, which of these animals would you like to see live? If you have the courage, of course. Let's get it on! Atolla Jellyfish this creature has never seen the sun, but it glows like a celestial body in the mysterious dark waters of the ocean. The unusual Atolla jellyfish lives in the so-called Bathiel Zone, that is, between 1,000 and 40,000 meters underwater. In this place, there is no daylight, and the pressure is very high. You can find this creature in different oceans. All jellyfish in this family are capable of emitting flashes of light, but the Atolla jellyfish uses it for very original purposes. The jellyfish begins to emit bright impulses when it's attacked by a predator. This instantly attracts the predator's enemies, other larger fish, to the battlefield. Then the jellyfish takes advantage of the chaos to escape without being noticed. Interestingly, this animal doesn't use its glow for hunting. Instead, it uses its long, trailing tentacle as a fishing rod. Comb Jelly at first glance, you might think this unusual creature is a disco ball. Eh? Disco! Disco! Come on, you get the disco! But this is a comb jelly, and even though it looks very much like a jellyfish, it's very different. For example, it has no tentacles, so it swallows its prey through its mouth, in one piece, like a boa constrictor. The appetite of this creature is impressive. Under certain conditions, the comb jelly can eat 10 times its own weight in one day. Most importantly, this unusual animal has a semi-transparent, barrel-shaped body that glows in the dark, like a rainbow. But it doesn't use photophores, like other deep-sea organisms. The thing is that it combs refract light, creating a unique optical effect. Most comb jellies live at depths of 700 to 1,000 meters, but some species can be found much deeper. Sea Spider if you suffer from arachnophobia, you probably know that spiders are afraid of water. They usually don't like this liquid. However, there are spiders that live in the ocean, and their land relatives can hardly compete with them, since their legs can reach up to 50 centimeters. But these animals use their eight limbs not only to move quickly across the seabed. In fact, it's through the holes in their legs that the sea spiders get oxygen. Over time, these holes become so large that scientists even compare them to holes in Swiss cheese. Sea spiders are a typical example of so-called deep sea gigantism. Scientists assume that it's caused by the extremely low temperatures in the deep sea. Down there, larger animals have a very slow metabolism. This helps them spend less energy and therefore consume minimal amounts of oxygen and food. And as you know, these resources are very scarce at the bottom of the ocean. Fang Tooth We are certain you would never want to come close to this creature, even in your dreams. <laughs> And although its size is not that impressive, the fish is still a terrible predator for many deep-sea dwellers. For example, fangtooths swallow squids and shrimps without even chewing. This creature lives at a depth of about 5,000 meters, so it's still poorly studied. But we do know that it has the longest teeth of all marine animals in proportion to its body. The teeth of adult specimens are so long that the fish can't quite close its mouth. The fangtooth even has special recesses in its head that arise from the fangs. No wonder this fish can sometimes eat fish that are larger in size. Anglerfish Anglerfish are definitely the most famous deep sea creatures in the world. It is their monstrous jaws that we imagine when we hear about the terrible mysteries of the ocean. Surprisingly, in these spooky pictures, we usually see female anglerfish, because males are much smaller and lead a parasitic lifestyle on the body of their partner. Like many deep sea animals, anglers have barely been studied by researchers, and there are almost no photographs of this fish in its natural environment, and there is good reason for that. These creatures live at a depth of 8 100 meters and more. The most recognizable feature of the angler is the special flashlight on its head, which the fish uses as a fishing rod. With its help, it attracts its prey. The most amazing thing is that this part of the body is a special gland controlled by the fish. How? It can be moved by narrowing or expanding the blood vessels. The hunting goes as follows. The angler notices its victim and turns on its flashlight. Then the prey rushes towards the light source and immediately falls into the huge mouth full of sharp teeth. To date, the order 
of anglerfish includes more than 350 species, but there are likely many more. Using advanced technology, scientists make more and more surprising discoveries. For example, in 2014, scientists at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute descended to a depth of 600 meters and took the first ever pictures of this creepy fish. Here you can see the humpback anglerfish, which rarely comes close to the water surface. An interesting feature of this fish is that it has a very elastic stomach. It allows the fish to eat prey much larger in size. For example, some humpback anglerfish of a little more than 8 centimeters have been found with 12 centimeter eels inside. By the way, a humpback anglerfish was featured in the popular animated movie Finding Nemo. More exactly, when Marlin and Dory are searching for a diving mask in the dark abyss. <laughs> The light from these terrible fish helps the friends read the address where they are likely to find Nemo. Deep Sea Dragonfish The next inhabitant of the ocean's depths can compete with the Joker for the title of the world's creepiest smile. In other news, the building industry and landlords today express concern This is the deep sea dragonfish. Despite measuring between 10 and 15 centimeters, these are bloodthirsty animals. The first thing that strikes us is, of course, the size of their fangs. But if you look closely, you'll notice they're transparent. Why? Some scientists assume that this allows the dragonfish to get close to their prey without being noticed. Brilliant, isn't it? This allows them not to frighten the prey at the most crucial moment. Also, the fish attracts its victims in a very clever way. The dragonfish has red and blue photophores just below the eye sockets. By the way, this fish also knows how to glow. Most likely, this function is used only during the mating period. Now scientists are carefully studying the composition of the teeth of the dragonfish to try to apply this knowledge to the creation of new materials. If they manage to repeat the composition of the unusual fangs of the fish, which are both transparent and very strong, they could revolutionize the world's industry. Humboldt Squid after seeing the next animal, your life won't be the same. You probably know the cute squids that usually are used in salads and paella. This isn't a creature that makes you shiver, but there are over 250 species of squid and some of them are truly amazing. The Humboldt squid is a real nightmare for fishermen, who call it the Red Devil. The reason is that these unusual animals can quickly change color when they hunt. This creature can reach the weight of an adult person, about 50 kilograms, and can grow up to almost 2 meters long. And they usually live at the bottom of the ocean, at a depth of 700 meters. However, this doesn't stop people in Mexico and Peru from fishing this squid. These creatures are skilled predators, and move in large schools at speeds of over 20 kilometers per hour. They can often be quite aggressive and sometimes show cannibalistic behavior. There have also been reports of giant squid attacking defenseless divers. Tionius borealis But don't worry, not all squids look like alien monsters out of a horror movie. Take a close look at this lovely creature. It looks like a transparent balloon with eyes and a bird's crest. The unusual body helps the squid Tionius borealis to stay unnoticed in an environment where any shadow or light source can lead to a brutal massacre. These creatures spend their first months of life in the upper layers of the ocean and then dive to the bottom of the ocean. They hunt effortlessly, simply by staying motionless in the water. Usually, smaller fish mistake the squid for a stone, come close to take refuge, and are caught by the animal's strong tentacles. Monsters of the Reefs by the way, not only the seabed is full of strange and frightening creatures, some live much closer to the surface, and now we'll show you the most interesting of them. For example, the frogfish of the anglerfish family. Among the sea creatures of this family, this is the only creature that lives on reefs and not in the dark depths of the sea. There are more than 150 species of frogfish, and all of them have a very unusual appearance, which helps them disguise. Some, for example, look like a rock infested with algae. Others are like a big red coral. Frogfish lead a fairly sedentary lifestyle, so to speak. That's why disguising is important for survival and hunting. Perhaps the most interesting feature of these creatures is the lower fins they used to walk on the bottom of the water, as if they were four-legged mammals. We're sure that you've never seen such a strange shark. Carpet sharks are found in shallow waters and boast excellent stealth skills. In just a few seconds, they hide among the coral reefs. It's not surprising that many carpet sharks attack humans who unknowingly step on their bodies. It's very difficult to notice this sea chameleon underwater. 
Bob at Worms may seem a little bit unpleasant, but harmless. However, they're not. Actually, you're only seeing a small part of their body. The other two or three meters of the body are hidden under the sea mud, waiting for the unsuspecting victim. Once the prey is near the worm, it grabs it, paralyzes it with a toxin, and drags it into its burrow. Gotcha. Fortunately, there are no such worms outside the water. 